Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix and today I actually have a brand new guest with me. Uh, this is Benjamin, my new friend <laughs> that's going to be reading fanfiction with me. Yeah, what's up? I'm, I'm pumped to be here. Hope we can have some funny times. Let's do this. I hope so too. So, we are looking for books to read that we both are in, like, fandoms that we're interested in. And it turns out we're both in the Mario fandom. And with the release of the of the movie that came out, like, two two months ago, I think, uh, we're gonna read Bowser x Luigi. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> only <laughs> the, the only fights. true way to appreciate the world of Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. We're not going for classic ships like Mario and Peach. We're going for the the, the good <laughs> shit over here. <laughs> so this this is this is literally just called Bowser X Luigi. It doesn't have a fancy title at all, <laughs> and the description is not very helpful either. <laughs> so we don't really have any idea what we're getting ourselves into. <laughs> but chapter one is called Caught by the Koopa King. So. Yeah. You get a vague idea of where this is going. Yeah, so maybe it'll follow the the plot of the movie somewhat. Mm-hmm. Who, who knows? <laughs> we don't know. All right. Uh, who would like to go first, or we can flip my remote to see who goes first. I think flipping the remote is a good idea. All right. Do you want to be the buttons or the backside? I think I'll go for the buttons. Those are the ones I usually press. Okay. Let's see. It's buttons. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. Luigi's point of view. After running from the dry bones for what felt like hours, I spotted a mansion and decided to run towards it. Oh, how I wished my brother was here. Once I jumped over the lava using the blocks, I ran up to the stairs and blocked the door to make sure they would not come in. I fully locked it using a wooden plank. I sat down inside. Happy I wasn't getting chased any longer. It felt strange sitting there in the darkness when suddenly it all went black. I could feel I was getting dragged somewhere. Where were they taking me? I tried to look around anxiously, but it had no use. My thoughts were running everywhere, hoping I'd make it out alive. They had put a rope around my wrist, so tight it hurt. Alright, so this does follow the movie then. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just wondering, first of all, how did he get here? I wonder if that'll ever get explained. Um, and, uh, it, it felt strange sitting there in the darkness, and then it went black? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it does do that in the movie, where he's, like, sitting there, and then it just, like, just goes straight up black. But I thought that was for, like, purpose, like, suspenseful purposes. <laughs> Who knows? We'll figure it out. <laughs> They took the mask off, and I looked around in fear, seeing them small creatures with red cloaks while in white faces or mask. They took me to another room. In front of the room, there were guards who let them in, looking at me strangely. I tried to just stare at the ground, hoping this was all a nightmare, and it would soon be over. I don't think so, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry to break your bubble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those creatures with the white face or mask get me every time yeah um, they are cute though I, I like them little guys <laughs> this is a fan fiction that I'm willing to cut some slack when it comes to grammar though because if you look at the date <laughs> they've been writing this at a rate of like one chapter per day so wait really <laughs> it, they have written an incredible amount very quickly they're like 29 chapters and like let, let me just let me just check again. Uh, it was made in April nineteenth, twenty twenty three, and there are twenty nine parts. Jesus, that that yeah, that is every day. <laughs> Wait, April. Yeah, because April nineteenth. Yeah, three days ago. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we checked last night to like find something, and we saw that this book was updated recently, and it said six hours ago <laughs> was the last chapter. So, so this, this is. is like they have been cranking these out. This, this is some dedication right here. Yeah. Um. Alright. 
I looked around and saw. I looked around a little and saw a big throne with a turtle uh, lizard looking person on it. I don't even know if it's a person or not. The little red fellows threw me in front of the stairs, which were placed in front of the big lizard's throne, causing me to fall down. I looked up at him with pure fear, not realizing my hat had fallen off. He looked down at me with a menacing look, his red eyes staring straight into me. The little fellas put my hat on me, and I got up. So, who's this? The lizard-looking thing said. I look at him, still in fear, yet also in shock that he could speak. And then some smaller ones appeared from smoke. It was wearing a blue cloak and had some glasses covering its eyes. Sir, this yeah. hat has the letter has a letter on it too. Perhaps this is Luigi Mario has been talking about it, said. How did they know my name? Not even that that's really a bad thing. Better than being called the green one or something like that, but they also knew Mario's name. Is Mario here too? Oh, how I hoped he was. I would finally be able to calm myself with someone. Is he alright though? I hope they didn't hurt him. Maybe the pipe just brought him to another part of the land, which is why we haven't found each other yet. So yeah, it definitely is set in the world of uh, the movie. Yeah, <laughs> I wonder how true this is going to be, because like, you barely see Bowser and Luigi in the movie. <laughs> yeah. I was so lost in thought that I did not realize the lizard had taken my hat. Before I could even ask him to give it back, he nodded to the cloaked one, who used his wand, making me float into the air. What the heck? How am I flying? I thought to myself. That's a fire line. If someone tried levitating me, that's exactly what I'd think. Yeah, I'd probably be freaking out as well. <laughs> the close one moved its wand towards itself, making me cl move closer to the large lizard. He was staring at me with pure anger as I stared back in fear. Alright, Bowser. Let's see what Bowser thinks. <laughs> so, this is Mario's brother, yeah? He didn't seem as tough as his brother. Kamek used its its wand. The author doesn't know whether or not Kamek is a male. So I'll use <laughs> Nice, okay. To bring him closer to um. me. Seeing his pathetic little face filled with fear made me want to hurt him even more. He stopped right in front of me and I put my finger underneath his chin, seeing his face turn pale than a, <laughs> than a vampire was amusing. He was so scared it's shameful. That's solid. I did just look it up. Kamek is male, but okay, you know, it's okay. Uh, you know, non-binary head cannons are are solid. They're very solid. Absolutely, right, they um, are. I looked him straight in the eyes. I put the nail of my finger closer to his neck, causing him to whimper. <laughs> Once I was done analyzing him, Kamek put him down. I spoke to Kamek. Keep the green one locked in the cage. One he can barely move in would be best. Kamek nodded, replying, of course, sir. Then they poofed away. I sat back down on my throne, satisfied that I had caught a person who was very close to Mario. Alright, Luigi. He's probably scared. <laughs> Once I was locked in the cage, I was only stood up and sit down in. I gave up hope. I sat down and waited for the cloak one to leave. Once it left, I sat on my... I sat with my knees up my arms around my knees and my head laying on my arms. I didn't even stop shivering before I already started to cry. I feel pathetic being locked up in a cage like this. <laughs> a few hours later... I had... I had red eyes from crying so much. I wiped away the tears as I heard someone in front of the security door. A creature that looked like a lizard but smaller without spikes and hair came up to my cage. I got up and held onto the bars on the back of my cage. Wait. So, he's been crying for hours. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. But I'm honestly impressed. <laughs> Me too. I feel like that's something that Luigi would be really good at. Yeah. Like, the crying contest. That is sad, but yeah, he would be really good at that. Where'd it go? Okay, this is the part I... Yeah, okay. Making sure I read the right paragraph before I started. It was carrying something and put it down right in front of my cage, just out of reach of me. I looked and saw what it was a plate of what seemed to be food. The creature left the room. I tried stretching my arms out enough to reach it without any luck. 
Maybe it was for the best, in case that lizard tried to poison me. I just sat back down and looked at my legs. Mario, I hope you're doing better than I am, I said. I quietly spoke to myself. All I could think about that night was my brother. I'm hoping he was alright. I hadn't realized how long I was lost in thoughts for, but it was long enough for the mini lizard, a regular Koopa, Koopa <coughs> not as a junior, to return with another plate. It looked at the plate already laying there and then at me. It was confused, but just put the plate down and picked the other up. It left the room with the other plate. I could still not reach the food that they had made for me. It went on like this, I think, for two days. I hadn't eaten a single thing since I got here. My sleeping problems weren't helpful either. I noticed the mini lizard return again. It left with, a, with the old plate yet again. I just looked hopelessly at the food, but tried to reach it again. As always, my arms were just a little too short. I heard a loud thumping in front of the security door. The big lizard, I think his name was Bowser, entered the room looking furiously at me. Why have you not eaten a single thing since you got here, he yelled. I was shaking, but once I collected myself again, I showed him I couldn't reach the plate. Bowser looked down, picked up the plate, and threw it on the ground in front of me. You wouldn't realize you, your cave, cage moved, idiot. I looked at the plate as he left the room again. I'm glad he didn't touch the glass of water they kept giving me. I got up and moved the cage a little so I could reach the water. It was better than nothing. The next day, I ate normally again, satisfied that Bowser had told me that the cage moved. Yet, I still didn't feel well. I decided to sit down after the dinner meal and immediately closed my eyes. Yet another few hours later. I woke up to noises outside the room. The, ur the urge to just yell, shut up, kept growing, but I stayed quiet. And eventually, the doors opened again. I went to see who it was, and it was a mini version of Bowser walking towards me the hell have you done to deserve this cage? It's the worst one we have. Dad never even used it before, he said. I looked at him. I I haven't really done anything too bad. He looked at me like he didn't believe me. My dad wouldn't lock someone innocent up in a cage like this. Tell me what you did, or I will tell dad you hurt me. At this point, I had realized Bowser was his dad. Very keen observation there, Luigi. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you all I remember, if, if that answers it. He looked at me happily and sat down, ready for the story. Well, me and my brother Mario, you didn't let me finish my sentence before you already interrupted. Mario, the red one who's who's after my dad's ob obsession? I looked at him a little confused. Does he wear red? Yes, but what do you mean with after my dad's obsession? You don't know yet? My dad is obsessed with the princess from the Mushroom Kingdom. Ever since your brother landed there, dad's been in a bad mood, especially when I tried to ask him about it, he answered. I stared at him a little confused, but decided to drop it. I'll continue the story. My brother Mario and I split up by the pipes. I landed here, and I guess he landed at the Mushroom Kingdom. I got up, got chased, hid in a creepy mansion, then got kidnapped. That's all I could have done wrong. <laughs> I like how, he, like, Bowser is so obsessed with Peach that even his own son knows about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, has he been, like, talking to his son, like, listen, kid, if you ever get a chance to get a woman like Peach, just take it. <laughs> just take it, no matter what it takes. <laughs> yeah, or, like, he caught him too many times, like... <laughs> like that scene in the movie where he's, like, trying to propose to Peach, but it's really canic, just trying to act it out and everything. I feel like he caught him doing that too many times. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I need to use the bathroom, please. <laughs> You've been in there for 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the kid looked at me like I was crazy. Well, then, you're probably locked up because of oh, shit. Well then, you're probably locked up like this because your brother is after his possession. But that doesn't really seem enough of a reason to keep you in the worst cage. What else have you done? I looked at him, trying to think of what else I could have done. Well, when I got dragged into the room of his throne, I zoned out for a while. Maybe I ignored him by accident, I told the kid. Still seems stupid, but I'll stop asking you so much. You're shaking as if I'm going to kill you. Sorry, kiddo, you just look a lot like your dad. He looked me up and down before walking away. Alright, that's the end of chapter one. Yay! 
Oh yeah, they say at the end here, I will try my best to update the story at least every night and day. Damn, that is some dedication. <laughs> how many words were in here? Let's, let's see how many words this was. Does it say at the bottom? Uh, oh, I didn't check. I'm just gonna highlight all of it. Wait, that doesn't work. Uh, it's probably a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do like that chapter two starts with this picture of a very zoomed in Waluigi plush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that too. That's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, chapter two The Koopa Prince. All about Bowser Jr. in this one, apparently. Alright, let's see. Luigi's point of view. I sighed in relief that the kid had left. Yet, he was the only company I had so far. Minutes later, I heard Bowser coming up to the room again. The door slowly opened. Mamma mia, he was taking his time to scare me even more. He walked up to my cage as, he, as I held on to the back bars of it yet again. He opened the door. I let go of the bars and saw him trying to reach me. Before he did, I noticed I could try to slide underneath him and try to run. I did just that and ran as fast as I could out of the room that the guards had left over. After running for a while, I could hear Bowser catching up to me. I feel like I've explored the whole castle by now as I felt myself getting exhausted. I hid behind a plant, hoping he didn't see me. Wait, he could have gotten out of the, the cage the whole time? Wait, no, no, he opened the door, okay. Yeah, it just so that he could, like, he can, like, shimmy it a bit. But he couldn't. <laughs> he couldn't just open and walk away. <laughs> and so Luigi's an idiot. <laughs> it just like was open. <laughs> What's? Oh yeah. He ran past. I sighed in relief and laid on my back against the plant. I was finally so relaxed that I didn't even notice he was running back already. He broke the plant in the corner of the room, which made me jump up in fear. He saw me. I tried my best to run away, but he grabbed me tightly by, in one hand. I tried ignoring my fear of him and attempted to get out of his hand. My plan had failed miserably. He threw me in a slightly bigger cage. I could lay down in it. I will be back for your punishment later. For now, you better pray I forget about it. That's a pretty badass line. Yeah. I looked at him scared as he left the room. I really have messed up now, haven't I? There, the thoughts came again. I laid down the cage and rolled up in the ball position. I could feel, feel the tears returning again. How is there any water left in his body? <laughs> I have no idea. Man's a fucking crying fountain right now. Alright, Bowser's point of view. I was about to return to the cage room to punish Luigi when Junior came up to me. Dad, why is Mario's brother in such a small cage? He can barely move. It isn't fair that it's... Just because Mario is with Peach, you need to punish his brother too? I can feel my anger boiling up inside me again. I have to put him in a bigger cage already. Stop begging. And why do you care about him? He's already tried running away. I went away from Junior to make sure I didn't harm him on accident. <laughs> I went over to the cage room ready to punish that dumb brother. I opened the door and heard sobbing noises. Is he fucking crying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the answer to that at any point is probably yes. Yeah, great detective work, Bowser. You did great. <laughs> As I realized Bowser entered the room, I quickly wiped away the tears and turned to him. Uh, he already seemed furious as he walked towards my cage. He opened the cage door and grabbed me in his hand again, tighter than last time. It made me whimper. Why can't you just leave me alone for some minutes? Also, I think it's a funny detail they mentioned that uh, his eyes get red and cries. But how much is uh, he's been crying? Bounce is gonna come and think he's totally. Busy. <laughs> he's gonna be like, how, how did you get weed in here? Yeah. <laughs> do we Was not strip junior again? <laughs> it's like, oh, do we not strip search you before we put you in this cage? I guess we missed out. <laughs> Luigi's in his cage where he can barely stand up and he's lighting up a blunt. <laughs> that is really funny. You got nothing else to do but smoke. <laughs> I looked up at him with my eyes still as watery as they could be. 
He looked down at me, ready to punish me, but the door opened again. Junior came in running with his little legs. I looked at him and sighed in relief. Dad, why are you holding him like that? Don't you remember I said he tried to run away? Well, I am now giving him his punishment. Usually, you hurt prisoners with your punishment. Why are you just holding him? Well, I was about to hurt him before you came in the room. Oh, Junior looked at me with a small shrug and then went back to his dad. I'll leave then, he said before he left the room, though I could see him peeking through the door gap. <laughs> I love Bowser Jr. He, he should be in more games. <laughs> totally, totally. <laughs> Bowser looked back at me furiously. And now to make sure you don't run away again, he said as he tied my arms together. I think I forgot to mention Kamek took the ropes off before I got... He got Luigi in the cage. Alright. <laughs> Again. <laughs> and then he he kept pulling the ropes tighter, together tighter, making me scream in pain. He kept them tight and fully tied them together now. Ow. It felt like at any moment my hands would just pop off and leave my arms. Honestly, I was expecting words, I thought to myself. That's what I think in that in that position as well. Yeah. <laughs> he held me in a way he could easily throw me. I shut my eyes tightly, preparing myself to get launched by him, but... He held me in his hand normally again. Well, still very tightly, but normally... Normal compared to being thrown... For... <laughs> normally compared to the throwing hold. He walked closer to the cage and still threw me in. I groaned as my back hit the bars. Wait! I yelled without noticing. He immediately turned back and walked over. I sat up and put my hands out to him. M my hands! He seemed to be shocked, seeing that my hands got all red because of the rope's tightness. He did his nail between my arm, which made the rope break but also left a small wound on my arm. I looked up at him. Thank you, I said, still shaking slightly. He shut the cage and locked it again before leaving. I felt around my wrist. Mamma mia, he put those tight. I, I laid down in the cage and eventually fell asleep while hugging myself. <laughs> okay, that was the worst punishment I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nothing happened. <laughs> All right, I think we have to. How, how long has this call been going on for? Um, I don't think it's been that long. It's been uh, like twenty minutes. Oh, I get. Well, I I guess oh, these are just shorter. Okay, I think we we can do probably two more of these. I didn't expect them to be so short. <laughs> well, they are writing all of them in one day each. You know what, I guess you're right. The expectations are a bit lower. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Go back to chapter two, look at the comments. Wait, let me oh, see. One person. And press show more. <laughs> one person is a big fan of this. Let me see. Well, they're not, okay. Boxy roll it yeah, yeah, I see. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> these, these people are like live blogging. They're reading this fan fiction in the yeah. comments. I forgot that like on Wattpad you can comment on specific paragraphs to give your reaction. So when they're reading this, they must have just been like lively, just like writing their <laughs> thoughts. That's really funny. I like the, the he'd be like with the the bride flag. <laughs> All right, let, let's see. Chapter 3, The King Wants You. God, for context of the title, Bowser wants to speak to Luigi. Nothing NSFW yet. <laughs> now on to the start. After Luigi. a week of being here, I was exhausted. It was hard to sleep in a cage, let alone a cage in a room where everyone walked past. Bowser hasn't visited me in a while, which I was glad about. Though his son did visit me often, sometimes he even brought his siblings. <laughs> Bowser Jr. was fun to talk to. You have to make jokes about his dad to cheer me up. Seeing Bowser Jr. with his siblings made me think of Mario. I miss him. I 
Really hope he's in a better position than me. I was lost in thought again, but my thoughts were quickly interrupted by the loud stomping of Bowser. He was going to my room again. I saw him open the door quicker than last time. As before, I was holding on tightly to the bars on the back of my cage. He stomped to the cage. I looked at him, thinking of why he could be here. His red eyes stared back into mine, but this time, his expression seemed much calmer. Bowser grabbed his keys and opened the cage. I need to have a word with you, baby. You must follow me or you'll face the consequences. Oh no, not another punishment. I don't like it. <laughs> I, I slowly let go of the cage and nodded. He had already started walking out of the room, so I had to run after him to keep up. Once I was walking next to him, he walked into a big room with two chairs and a desk. He sat down in the bigger chair and pointed at the chair in front of him, informing me to sit there. I did as he asked and sat down in the chair. It was very quiet for a minute before he spoke. Junior has been going into the cage room a lot recently. I assume he's been speaking to you, hasn't he? Drama! <laughs> <laughs> I looked at him, still quite scared. He, yes, he has. He looked down at me. I tried my best not to make eye contact, so I did not look back into him. He sighed. Some smoke left his nose as he did so. He put his finger underneath my chin again, forcing me to look at him. Has Junior been behaving well? I looked confused by the question, but I just answered it. Yeah, he's quite nice, actually. He seemed calmed by the news and let my chin go. Junior told me some stories about you. Oh, you told him. He has? Which ones? He looked at me and raised his eyebrow. Well, he told me how you got here. He's concerned about how- about you because of how much you cry- I would be concerned too! <laughs> I looked a little embarrassed after he said that. Junior noticed that I cried. So, he continued. Make Junior stop worrying about you. Do it- do it in any way you want. Just make him stop worrying. I simply nodded, imagining the various amount of things he could do to me if I didn't listen. He stared down at me with his red eyes. If you convince my kid you're okay, and don't hurt him, you might get a more comfortable case, he said. I looked up at him. Uh, I'll try my best. Try more than just your best, he yelled angrily, making me jump out of my chair. You a chair? I quickly nodded and held on to the sides of the chair in case he would scream again. He looked down at me with a smirk. He got up and picked me up from my chair, holding me in his big hand. He carried me back to the cage room. Once he opened the door, he walked over to my cage and put me back in, more gentle than before. He locked the cage again and left the room. I looked down at the scratch he accidentally gave me after my first punishment. Well, I hoped it was accidental because it was stinging a lot. My hands felt a lot better already. After a few minutes, or hours, Junior entered the room again. He seemed happier than usual as he walked to my cage. You're in a good mood, I said to him. He nodded happily. Yeah, that allowed me to come here more often. You seem happier too, which also made my mood go up. I smiled at him and carefully patted his head. I went to sit down in the front of the cage so he would be as near as possible. We talked for a, quite a, a long time until Bowser came. Bowser's POV. I heard my son talking to Luigi again, so I went to the cage room. As I opened the door, I immediately saw them and walked over to them. Time for bed, Junior. Aw, oh, but Dad, Luigi hasn't finished telling me about Brooklyn. Brooklyn? I looked at Junior and then Luigi he seemed very nervous. Well, Junior, tomorrow's another day. You need to rest, I said as I picked Junior up. At first, he tried to make me let go of him, which had failed. Then he calmed down, and I took him to his room. Once in the room, I put him in bed. He immediately fell asleep. I patted his head and gave him a small kiss on the forehead, too. After that, I left the room quietly and went to my own room. I'm, I'm glad in this one, Bowser's a good father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think most of, in most fit, he's a good father. Yeah. Isn't Around it... two days later... I made Luigi's cage more comfortable while Junior showed him around his room. In the cage, I've added a blanket and a pillow. The cage was a little bigger too, so we could lay down more comfortably. 
Junior and Luigi came back into the room, and Junior was dragging Luigi. It was quite funny to look at, considering the Luigi is taller than him. I patted Junior's head and he let go of Luigi. Junior left the room, and so did I, to make Luigi more comfortable with his new cage. End of chapter 3. Wait, they, they, they started... I made the start of this story during class. The teacher didn't even notice, and my friends came up with a lot of weird ideas what to add. More drama will come, don't worry. I just had to give the green bean a break at the end. Oh, we, we've got some more, we've got some more live vlogging down here. Oh, really? Like your, Wait, I gotta see. Yeah, your, your local reader, LOL, is a really big fan here. I appreciate that. Dedication. Yeah. There's some fan fictions that I read like that that are like, like I always see the same three people in the comments constantly <laughs> talking. Big fans. That's really funny. Yeah, I like like when I when I go down to the bottom of the comments, they suggest books for me, and it's it's truly calling me out right now. <laughs> <laughs> what is it saying right now? Right now, it's not showing me any. Oh, here it is. Comments. Your, your local reader. That there's so many. There's so many. So this cartoon cat. Everyone, everyone's a big fan of this book, which is I good. I'm glad. <laughs> All right, chapter four. Oh, do we want to do chapter four? Yeah, we have time for one more. Yeah. All right. All right, chapter four. <laughs> Ah, Luigi's point of view. I was glad Bowser gave me a pillow and blankets. It slept way more comfortable. Though because of the red blankets, I thought of my brother again. Oh, how I hoped he's safe. Safer than me. Maybe he just landed on the other side, and this island is very big? Yeah, that's probably it. I turned around with my back to the door and looked at the stone wall. Uh, though the blanket did comfort me, I still don't feel safe here. I didn't feel safe here yet. How old do you think the person writing this is? If I had to guess, <laughs> it would probably be 14. <laughs> 14, yeah. Maybe 13. Yeah, def because definitely young. When, you, when you're 14, you go into high school. Like, my freshman year of high school, I don't think I had enough time to, or motivation to, like, write something every single day. 13 is kind of the sweet spot for spending a really large amount of time on, on something silly. Because uh, you're in 8th grade. At least, for this is just my experience personally, 8th grade was mm -hmm. super easy. Mm -hmm. um, and I had tons of time after school. So, uh, And I think after that, when I turned like 15, I started to realize how like pencils work. So, I, I'd put my money on 13. Yeah, well... Maybe they'll say it in the uh, the author if we go to the author's um, description on their page. Oh, we'll have to check that out. Yeah, definitely. I I kind of want to know now. <laughs> <laughs> I turned around with my back to the door and looked at the stone. Oh yeah, so okay, my bad. <laughs> After what felt like hours of just thinking about Mario and whatever he was safe or not, the Koopa came into my room again with food. I learned they're called Koopas, and the cloaked one's name is Kamek. Junior taught me that. I thanked the Koopa for the food and quietly ate it as it left the room. The food was very tasty. I laid down the empty plate in front of my cage again. After I did that, I laid down and closed my eyes before I heard a lot of noises coming from outside. It almost sounded like fighting. Faust's POV. How did that idiotic Mario get past the guards? I could hear him coming closer, so I told Junior to go and hide somewhere to make sure he'd stay safe. The door got kicked down by the Red Brother. Where is Luigi? He seemed weak. Only the power-up made him look strong. He's somewhere you won't be able to go, unless you pass me. Mario sprinted at me and I flung him with the smack of my tail. He grunted while getting up just before Peach entered the room too. Peach, my dearest, <laughs> I would kill Mario if that meant I could have her to myself. Luigi put him- oh, they really didn't want to write the, the battle? Damn it. I guess it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, pretty messed up. Yeah, I want to know how he, like, got his ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> I grabbed the bars trying to break out when Junior came and ran to the room. Junior, are you alright? I merely asked, worried that he got hurt. 
He nodded. Could you make sure Dad won't get hurt? I looked at him and then around me as if I had anything to break free with. I ran to the door and grabbed the guard's keys. Junior opened the, the cage door. Save my dad. Make sure you stay safe, okay? I patted him on his head as he ran somewhere safely. Um, I sneakily ran towards the fighting noises and peeked through the door. Mario? Quickly, I looked around to see where Bowser was, only to see him chatting with some princess. That must be Peach, I thought to myself. Mario hadn't noticed me yet. In the middle of the battle, just Bowser's just trying to riz up the princess. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> That's some insane riz, for sure. Yeah, just, to go from battling to, to rizzing is <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. I, I opened the door and tried to run for him, just to get grabbed by Bowser. He had also blocked my mouth, preventing me from yelling my brother I was here. Mario didn't even notice me. He seemed busy fighting Koopas and Goombas. Peach and Bowser seemed to be talking about something very useless. I tried biting Bowser's finger to make him stop covering my mouth, but it didn't work. <laughs> All it did was make him tighten his grip. I tried to move and hoped he would let go. Nothing worked. After Mario defeated the Koopas and Goombas, he looked over at me. I could see his face light up with excitement as he ran towards me. All I could do was look at him happily because my mouth was around Bowser's finger. I tried to break out of Bowser's grip again. Still no use. Let my brother go, you oversized a lizard, Mario said. It seemed to catch Bowser's attention because his grip tightened even more, causing, making me unable to breathe regularly. Peach looked at Mario and then at Bowser. I could feel myself getting lightheaded. Bowser tried hitting Bowser but only hurt himself. Peach helped Mario and poached Bowser with her staffish weapon. It all went black. Um... Bowser's POV. I could feel the anger rising inside of me. I hadn't realized I made Luigi unconscious. Mario and Peach kept annoying me so damn much. I got so angry I attacked them with the lava from my mouth. They both, both took many steps back. It burnt Mario's foot slightly. Peach picked him up and ran away. Mario tried protesting to save his brother. Once they finally left- oh, no. Once they finally left, I looked at my my hand and saw Luigi pass out, just laying there with a red mark over his mouth from my nail. Had I grabbed him that tightly? I sighed and took him to my room, laid him down on my bed, and locked the door and laid down next to his unconscious body. <laughs> what the fuck? Did Luigi's POV. Oh, that line afterwards is pretty rough. Um, I woke up several hours later. Feeling a hot breath in my neck, I turned around and saw Bowser there. I froze on the spot. What the heck happened to make me lay with him? After a minute of being frozen, I noticed him moving. He put his arm around me and pulled me closer. Why was he holding me like this? How did I get even get here? What is happening? <laughs> That's me right now. <laughs> this is written just like I'm here. <laughs> just what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> My mind was going everywhere. I tried to get out of his arms again, but then remembered what happened before I passed out. I wiggled enough to free my arm, remembering that my brother was here. I got angry. If he hurt him, I swear I will not be as nice. I hit his nose, which immediately woke him up. Bad idea? He glared down at me furiously. I tried my best to look as intimidating as possible. Where is my brother? <laughs> he moved his arm, which was around me. Some way, it pressed on tightly my body. I screamed in pain as he slowly raised his arm off my body. I was panting for air. So busy with breathing, I didn't notice I could try to run away. Bowser turned around, making his spiky back almost stab me. I need your help interpreting. What does some way it pressed on tightly my body mean? I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe that's supposed to be, like, abstract art, you know? You read it, and 
whatever you're imagining, that line can help you to perpetuate in your mind. I feel like they're supposed to put tightly at the very end of that, because if, yeah, because if they do, is that it pressed on my body tightly, I think they just placed the word in the wrong spot. Oh, maybe, maybe. I squealed in fear and immediately hurried to get up. Once I got up, I had one of his huge spikes right in front of my face, touching my nose. I looked at the side of the bed and went there, jumping off the bed. I ran to the door and tried to open it without any luck. Eventually, I gave up and decided to just hide somewhere. I hid in his closet, and with his sides, I could still lay down. I put one of the, his warmer jackets over me and used a folding clothing as a pillow. Don't ask why he even has clothing. In the movie, he had a suit, too. I fell asleep pretty quickly. His jacket was comfy, after all. In the morning, I woke up. Earlier than Bowser, I assume, since I haven't been moved yet. I could hear loud, very loud yawning from outside the closet. The closet doors opened, and I hid underneath the warm jacket. I peeked with one eye, and he had noticed me. He left the closet door open as he changed his quote-unquote clothes. I fully hid underneath the jacket once I noticed what he was doing. He seemed to just walk around before I felt the jacket being taken off of me. I tried to pretend to still be asleep. He picked me up and laid me down in his bed, putting my head on the pillow and a black blanket over me. It only took a couple of minutes before I actually fell asleep. End of chapter 4. It luckily didn't take them that long, although they could have finished it sooner if it weren't for their allergies. Shout out to my hay fe fever, I guess. <laughs> Shout out to my hay fever, too. Always on top. Your local reader is back in the comments, but that person from the first one, gone. They're yeah, gone. They're, they're never coming back. Or they just, they just stopped commenting as much as they did. <laughs> They were an angel while they lasted, but then they started to realize it was actually daily uploads. <laughs> yeah, and they were like, I can't keep up with this, and then like they never touched the book again. <laughs> Man, the comments are not loading for me, but... Oh my god, these, oh, these comments were two days ago! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! God, that means this person read this recently, and they're like, this is fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they must have been really into this, for sure. Yeah, this is like their, their magnum opus right now. Like, this is the, the book that they put in the pedestal, and they're like, I this is the best Honestly, book. I think that if I made something every day for, like, 30 days, and it was that long, I wouldn't care about, like, the grammar. That would be my magnum opus. Yeah. Um, let's see so they joined 2021. They could be pretty young. Alright, uh, let's look at their thing real quick. I gotta see. Yeah, joined in 2021. Wait, they have three books. The, the classmates. Wow. They're, I don't know who these popular. people are. And that Bowser X Luigi fix is number three in gay fixes. <laughs> what it shows you right now is it's ranked number ten in gay fan fiction. Gay fiction, that's what it says. And it's number one Bowser X Luigi. That's really funny. <laughs> that is really funny. Honestly, good on them. Good on them. <laughs> they, they, they know what they're doing, I think. It takes a lot of dedication to make that much writing. Yeah. It it's... seems like they're starting young. It is good. It's good for creativity. Yeah. And I have read substantially worse fanfic so yeah good good job good job i'm guessing you really like this book then huh uh i don't think i'm gonna keep reading it on my own time <laughs> you're not gonna read this in your spare time <laughs> no i'm not oh, okay. i'll save it for this show <laughs> okay okay there's some books like that where i'll start reading with a friend and i'm like this is actually really good and i really want to read it off screen but i want my my reactions to be genuine <laughs> mm -hmm. but if you guys would like to read this book ahead of us uh i will have a link down below uh please support the author and there are two other books that they have it seems like they have an actual re really good writing style <laughs> So, any, any last thoughts on this book? 
Uh, no, I don't think so. I think, um... <laughs> there are... I, I did look ahead just to make sure. Just, just like, see how graphic the NSFW was. It's it's a little goofy, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it when, the, when Smut is goofy as shit. That's the funniest part. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we'll read it. Maybe we won't. Who knows? Hey, I might just read it and just be like cringing the entire time I'm reading it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my name is Phoenix. This is Benjamin, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.